What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. So let me show you guys the Air Jordan 1 KO Rush Orange. Now before I get into the video, I just wanna say thank you guys for all the support. Keep on liking, keep on subscribing, and it really motivates you to keep going. I see you guys liking my content. Also, let's you know I'm in the right direction to show you guys you wanna see. If you're new to the channel, I just wanna say thank you and welcome. I drop a lot of dope content here, so consider subscribing. Also, there's a 4K video playing in the background of me, and you guys have a new videos coming ahead of time. Follow me on Instagram, at Y Davis. But let's get right into it, guys. So. I do have this shoe today. Now this did actually come out today. It was actually sitting on the sneakers app as well for like a few hours and then it eventually sold out. But um, here we have it, uh, the Air Jordan 1 KO, Rush Orange. I went with a size 9.5 on these. We don't get this in just the retail. As you guys know, they take that out of the box nowadays. And uh, we get this orange box right here. And then we have the Nike swoosh up there at the top. All right, also at the back of the box, it says the Air Jordan 1 KO at the bottom. Okay, show you guys the sides real quick. Both the same thing on the sides. Open up the top of the box right here. Um, I do get a stamp on the top of the box with a black swoosh under it. Okay, take out this nice shoe. I love the color on the shoe, the regular tissue paper that you see right here. Here goes the shoe. Very nice colorway. Um, if you guys like loud shoes, these are definitely the ones to cop. Um, we also do get the green sticker in there, as you guys can see. Um, in my opinion, the chicks go crazy for like these type of shoes because they just look really good on women's feet in my opinion. And also, um, orange is just that colorway where it's either gonna hit for you or miss for you. And to me, I like wearing orange because it's just that color that pops the right way when you have the certain colorways on, like when you wear like green and things like that. But anyway, um, the reason why the shoe is called Air Jordan 1 KO it doesn't stand for knockout. It actually stands for Air Jordan 1 knock off. So they want to knock off their own shoe before someone else could do it. And they came up with this model. Now, as you guys can see here towards the back of the shoe, if you look from the back of the shoe, you can't really tell, but when you turn the shoe to the side, you can actually see that the back of the shoe has a slope to it, as you guys can see right there. But um, other than that, it's a really nice colorway and nice scheme, but let's get right into the shoes, guys. Now on the bottom of the shoe here, we get this Rush Orange, as you guys can see. On the bottom, we don't get those very detailed stars at the top or at the back of the shoe, okay? Coming towards the outsole of the shoe here, we get this white outsole with some white stitching. All right, on both the outside and on the inside of the shoe, as you guys can see right there. All right, now coming up towards the base of the shoe here, this shoe is made in all canvas. So this shoe will get pretty dirty pretty easily if you wear it like in windy days, dusty days, and things like that. So you have to be very careful when you're wearing these. Put some shoe protector on there. And uh, basically what that is, is a spray or like repellent to stop things from hitting the actual materials of the shoe. And you'll definitely need that for this shoe because this shoe is a dirt magnet. But uh, looking towards the outside of the shoe here, as you guys can see, it's majority white in that white canvas. Okay. And then uh, we get that leather swoosh on the outside right there. Pretty fire in my opinion. Okay. Pretty nice. Show you guys the inside right here. Same thing. All right, what you guys think about these out of one to 10? Let me know in the comments box below. To me though, it's definitely a cop because this is just one of those shoes that, you know what I mean? It's a good everyday shoe. If you don't have an everyday shoe, you know what I mean? It's gonna be impossible to get all these, you know, super hard to get shoes. And when you come to the reality, you're gonna have to find supplements and uh, replacement for those shoes. There's nothing wrong with having these shoes. Only thing that's really different about Air Jordan 1 KOs and Air Jordan 1 Mids is that they come with eight lace holes instead of nine. And I'm gonna show you guys right here. What I'm talking about, so as you guys see on the Air Jordan 1 High right here, it has nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And on the Air Jordan 1 KO, they have eight. Okay, also with the Miz as well, they have eight holes instead of nine. But um, height wise, you could barely even tell the height difference wise. Like side by side, you can tell the height difference wise, but you know, um, you can barely even tell the height difference wise. Like, you know, didn't have the other one stacked up with the other one but other than that no it's a pretty nice shoe now um coming towards the toe box here as you guys can see these won't crease up so you won't need any wearable shoe trees in these but it has that canvas material on the toe box and white now these will get pretty dirty once again so make sure you know you guys try to take care of these as much as possible in front of that on the mud guard we get this orange mud guard and like canvas material as well we get the white on the mud guard as well under that okay coming up towards the laces on these we do get some orange laces that really pop really well with these shoes looks really really nice and then we also get an extra pair of white laces with these shoes as you guys can see now um coming up towards the tongue here we get this white cloth tongue like a really like a it feels like a kitchen table cloth tongue if you guys know what i'm talking about at the top of the tongue right here we get the nike with the swoosh under it in white and then the background of that is in orange all right show you guys the inside of the tongue right here just shows you where the shoe is made of and things like that 
All right, show you guys that. On the inside of the shoe here on the sock lining, we do get this orange color on the sock lining, the rush orange. And then on the inside of the shoe at the top as well, it says the sizing and things like that. And that's how they used to do it back in the day on the original pairs. All right, so they was kind of mimicking that and putting that sizing up there. But um, on the inside of the shoe here, we do get some tissue inserts, okay? I'm um, take out the tissue inserts. We actually get two, it feels like two tissue inserts. So I'm guessing they have two tissue inserts in both shoes. Okay, not just one. So it actually comes with two separate ones. And on the insole, it is white. All right, show you guys this insole. Thick insole on the inside is white. As you guys can see, you get that swoosh and orange. Show you guys the back of the shoes here and the back of the shoes. At the top of the back of the shoes, we get this white leather. And then we see that orange leather. And then it goes down to that canvas in white. As you guys can see, back of the shoes right here all right pretty nice on the outsides of the shoe once again you see the air jordan 1 ko logos right there okay which does not stand for knockout it actually stands for knock off okay just want to tell you that just want to tell you guys that once again <laughs> all right now i'm gonna show you guys my foot is in the toe box right now hey guys so this is what they look like on feet pretty clean in my opinion now i'm a true size nine normally get nine and a half in all my shoes so for 450s and 350s I really need to go a full size up on those, but I actually did go with a 9.5 in these, half a size up. Now, I did try on a size 9 in store, and I did like the way those fit, but um, in my opinion, on the insides right here, it was a little bit tight, but in the toe box, it felt perfect. I actually had a little bit more space than I thought I would have in the toe box, and I'm going to show you guys that video right now. As you guys see, when I'm pressing down on the top right here, it's pretty empty, and I had a, a good amount of space in there, but towards the insides of the foot and the outsides of the foot, I was feeling a little bit pressure, Um, so back to this shoe now as you guys can see right here i have this one unlaced and this one unlaced as well but i don't feel the pressure as much here um when i had it laced up you know what i mean it did feel a little bit tight but you know i guess that's just how shoes are when you tie them up you know what i mean the, the materials will be closer on your foot but um, i'm gonna press down on the shoe and show you guys where my foot is in this toe box right here and my big toe is right here all right so i do have a good amount of space in here as well as you guys can see but um these won't crease up so you don't have to worry about these creasing up because of that canvas material but other than that they are pretty fly my foot doesn't come out the back at all so you know if you guys do want that extra space or have a wider foot and want to go up half a size you can do that with these and have no problem um but i just think these are really tough really nice colorway and i'm gonna show you guys with these like some different pants options right now okay guys i hope you guys like this video make sure you guys like comment subscribe Show your boy some love and stay tuned.